looking at your your map or your um, graphs there. What's that second one, or what? Uh, I, I don't know. What, what does that mean? That's the physical changes to it's hydromorphological pressures, which is a bit of a mouthful, but that's f physical changes to our water environment. So draining, dredging, channelization, any physical changes, physical barriers, for example. So that, that's there. Uh, and would you just on, on, dred on dredging, like um, where, gra where grass or drains are all blocking up and it's blocking water everywhere, um, and you and you clean it out? Yeah, you, you, the water obviously gets discoloured and it gets dirty while it's been done but once it cleans itself out it's perfectly clear water is are you saying that clean and drain is a bad thing no so the the issue is actually the sediment yeah the sediment yeah. That can when you're come, taking it up is it yeah the yeah. sediment blocks then the the gravels which are the the spawning locations we'll say for say for for an example for fish so if the sediment is released in a big pulse, whether it's from a forestry clear fell or from a, a drainage exercise, it's the sediment okay. in the habitat condition which is the issue. Because generally what's used is that you'd be putting in, uh, when you'd be doing it, you'd be putting in, if it was a smaller strain, you'd always put in a bale of straw to make sure that you uh, soak and then that would be, you'd, make, you'd purify it basically, trying to go through the way you wouldn't... Um, damage the waters down so wouldn't that be fair to say? That that's certainly would help the situation, yeah, yeah. because ultimately it's, it's, it's the sediment. The other question I have is, um, and you'd have been involved in it, or, um, if, if we go, at the moment we are here in for Ireland to meet targets, um, that we need to um, plant another 500,000 hectares of trees. That's wrote in every document I'm reading. <laughs> but to cause chaos, if if uh, going by, if it's the third there um, on it, to cause chaos altogether on our water quality, if that's the case, w would you, uh, going by what I'm uh, say, it's like one thing pushing again the other. You're, the water is trying to be minded, but if you put in the 500,000 hectares of trees with the best will in the world, you're going to have run off from them. Wouldn't it be a into an off contradiction sort of? I mean, I, I certainly any new forestry will have to be in a place where it's, it's not impacting on water quality. So. Which like, would like to be honest about it, not being smart, but like any bit of forest is planted in Ireland, there's a drain near it or a river near it. Being, so making know? sure that it's not impacting on water quality would be sure. really important that there aren't any unintended like, consequences. I'll be honest with you, I come from a farm and, and they're in the hope and you know, no matter where you go in Ireland, of planting trees that won't run off down to some drain or river. I know that when you're done forestry one time, you had to the, the mountain and you had a system where it took all the, but like, it's, it's delusional. If we think we're going to sow 500,000 trees and still get water quality better. One, one department, you're trying to do one thing, in fairness to you, but another department is trying to do everything and the two won't add up one way or the other. Thank you for answering the questions, by the way.